What's happening everybody? We're back. Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. Welcome back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. And today I want to cover a question that came up in one of the comments, which is, is it cruel to own a chinchilla? Are these guys built for the cage life? That's what we're covering today. So stick around. We're starting right now. Chili, what do you think? Do you think it's cruel to keep a chinchilla? To have one as a pet? Why are you so mad at me today? What did I do? I've been nothing but nice to you. All right, guys, here's the deal. The question's actually a pretty good question because in general, no, it's not cruel to keep a chinchilla. The idea of even thinking that is kind of absurd. It's a domesticated pet, right? I mean, these guys struggle to survive in the wild. They don't do so hot. Otherwise, the population of them would still be up pretty high. But on the flip side, there are times where I'd recommend people not adopt a chinchilla. So who are these people? Well, I actually talk about it in one of my videos, which I will put that link in the description below for you. It's about the reasons not to get a chinchilla. I know that they're two completely separate topics, but this is important. Sometimes it's not that it borderlines on being cruel and that you shouldn't own a chinchilla, but the point is that sometimes your chinchilla may be better off with a different owner, depending on your lifestyle. What do you think, Chili? Is this true or false? False. Sorry for the blue socks. So here's what I mean, guys. If you don't have time for these guys at all, like they're not going to get any kind of socialization, any kind of, you know, time out of the cage, then yeah, you're kind of bordering on it. It's kind of cruel to keep a chinchilla. I wouldn't recommend it at that point. Like, it's not that they need to cuddle up in your lap and watch a movie, kind of like a small lap dog, but they do need the opportunity to get out, get moving, and live their life a little bit outside of that cage. Some chinchillas, more than others, will be more okay with longer, you know, extended periods inside of their cage. They might not be as social, but in general, I mean, my chinchilla, Chili here, she was pretty timid in the beginning. And I wouldn't even say she's the most outgoing chinchilla you can own. She's not huge on being held, but she still loves getting out of the cage. And she still shows that she recognizes me. She still shows that she wants a human interaction. So again, I'm not saying it's cruel if you're, if you know, it doesn't cross that line, but at the same time, there are times where you shouldn't get one. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, on the flip side of this, guys, there's definitely the other factor, which is you have the opportunity to dramatically improve the quality of life for a chinchilla. If you can be someone who can get them out of the cage, if you can give them a home that's safe, you know, loving, I'm not talking like way over the top, like they gotta be, you know, free roam in your house every five seconds. I'm just saying if, if you can do that, that's awesome. Complete opposite of, you know, being cruel to own a chinchilla, not at all. These guys, you know, the cages, as long as they're big, Midwest Critter Nation 2 is always my recommendation. And they're comfortable, they're being fed, they have their water, they have their treats, they have their accessories. I mean, how much better does it really get? Plus time out of the cage? I mean, what do they have to worry about every day? We're bathing them in their dust, making sure they're fed, we're petting them, we're interacting with them. I would say that that is far from cruel. And listen, I get it. I get the arguments on the other side that, you know, this is the pet was in or a chinchilla was in the wild for this many years before they ever became a domesticated pet, blah, blah, blah. Well, they are a domesticated pet now. That's why they're sold in pet stores. So, you know, everybody's gonna be entitled to their opinion, but I am one of the people who personally believe that it is not cruel at all to own, raise, and keep a chinchilla, whether it's one of them, two of them, or 10 of them. As long as you're doing your job on your end, no harm, no foul, better their lives, you're good to go. But hey, why only trust me? Let's get some more expert advice in here on this topic. Hey, Rowan. What? Come here. Hey. Come here. Do you like owning a chinchilla? Yeah. Uh huh? Yeah. Do you think it's awesome? Yeah. What, do you see yourself? Yeah. Where are you? I'm here. Where's Chili at? Uh, Do you think owning a chinchilla is the coolest thing ever? Just see me. 
Do you think owning a chinchilla is the coolest thing ever? Oh uh, yeah, it is. It is? Tell them. Say it's uh, so awesome. It's so awesome. Do you think we take good care of chili? Yeah, and it would I nice hat. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's get out. And there you have it, folks. The expert has spoken. Clearly, the most trusted resource <laughs> in the field of chinchillas. <laughs> And guys, we made this video here tonight really just to respond to that comment that I had seen. It was actually from the website, but we actually weren't intending to make one, but she needed to come out anyway. So I figured I'd answer that question. I love it when you guys pose the questions. I love answering them. So that's why we're here, why we made the video. Hopefully it was probably not super useful, but hopefully it was a little bit of fun or educational at the very least. And as always guys, planetchinchilla.com and the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel they exist for helping you guys with your chinchillas, especially new chinchilla owners. So if that's you, make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Check out all of our content. Hit that notification bell. Give us a thumbs up on the video. When you do that, it makes the YouTube algorithm give us some love, which then pushes us into every other chinchilla owner's face to help them as well. So do that. Leave us some comments. If you have more questions, let us know. Never forget to check out planetchinchilla.com. If you guys need any additional resources, always check out the ebooks that we have available that we have authored on that website. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for stopping by. Take care. Say thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, everybody, for watching. In case you didn't understand that, he said thank you to everybody for watching. Say thank you to all of our subscribers. Thank you, all the We're going to have to work on the word subscribers. Say, we'll see you next time. See you next time. See ya, see ya, see And then say, peace out. Peace out, peace out. <laughs>